What's good everyone, it's Adam from Mo. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to show you how Circle Local by Drake and 21 Savage was made, at least the sample in the track. I'm gonna show you how what Boy Wonder, Take Heath, and Forty. I'm not sure which one took the sample and flipped it, but I'm gonna show you what they did with that sample. It's fairly easy. And the reason why I wanna show you is because you don't have to go crazy on samples. You can just do something like this and really make a crazy hit song. All right, so the sample in the track used was Daft Punk's One More Time. Before you wanna go ahead and drag in that entire song to sample it, you wanna go over here to the top of your tempo and make sure you change it over to adapt. Now what that's going to do, it's going to adapt to whatever audio you bring into Logic and you really don't have to find any downbeats, you don't have to find the tempo, you don't have to do nothing. Everything is done for you once it's dragged in. So let's go ahead and drag that in right now. I'm going to drag in that audio, Daft Punk's one more time. Logic is going to analyze that audio file. Just like that, we're done. If you want, you can see all the downbeats over here. Because it's like dance music, it's probably good to go. So thanks to the Adapt Tempo, Logic placed the audio file perfectly in time and ready for you to start chopping away. If you wanna see the entire tempo map of this, here it is right over here. So all the producers did on this track was... So I'm not gonna play the whole sample, but I'm just gonna go to the spot where they took the sample from. So if you go to the song here at bar nine, it goes for about eight bars. This is the section they took for Circle Loco. One more. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it up here on the nine bar and on the bar 17. And that is a perfect eight bar loop because, uh, well, if you go ahead and play it back, it's perfectly in time. So next what we gotta do here is we gotta pitch it down and slow it down to the actual tempo of Circle Loco. Right now we're at 123 beats per minute. We're gonna go ahead and slow that down to 104, which is the tempo of Circle Loco. So over here in my tempo map, I'm just gonna click this. I'm gonna go tempo sets. I'm just gonna go ahead and set a new tempo set. We can just call it Circle Loco. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 104. Just like that, we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new audio track. I'm gonna drag this down. And now, since we know that this was an eight bar length sample, now we just gotta drag that out to eight bars at 104 beats per minute. So if I zoom in here on the corner here of this region, hold down the option key on my keyboard, click drag. I'm gonna drag it to a length of eight bars, as you can see right there. I'm gonna let go. And now we effectively took that sample for 123 beats per minute and slowed it down to 104 beats per minute. The problem is they didn't just stop there, they went ahead and pitched that down as well. So the next thing you wanna do here is pitch it down eight semitones. So you can use your keyboard by hitting option in the down arrow. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's pretty much all that was done to the samples, just stretched out to 104 beats per minute and then pitch down eight semitones. And the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and add in a little bit of chorus to this just to make it a little bit wider. And then there is a little bit of reverb placed on the sample as well in the original track. And then there you go, there's the sample to Circle Loco by Drake and 21 Savage produced by Boy Wanda, Take Heath, and 40. Now this type of beat is like my most favorite types of beats for Drake, so it is my favorite beat off of the Her Loss album. Let me know what you think about the sample and how it was used or what you think about the Her Loss album down below. Got a couple more tutorials coming from the off the Her Loss album, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to see those videos when they drop. But on that, if you do have any questions, just go ahead and chat in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one, later. Peace.